Hey guys, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how you can make this miniature furniture from popsicle sticks and coffee stirs. This furniture is 144th scale, so it is really small. So it is great to go inside a miniature dollhouse. Last week, I made this miniature castle, and I'll put a link down below to that video in case you want to make the same exact castle. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new cool projects that I make. The first thing that I'll show you how to make is the dining room table. And I'll also put timestamps down below in case there is one specific thing you want to watch and see how I make it. The dining room table is made from two coffee stirs. So I just cut them into much smaller pieces so that they will fit inside of the main room. I cut one of the coffee stirs a little bit smaller just so that it is small enough to fit in the room. And then I use some wood glue to glue the two pieces together. I then took a round wooden rod and cut two small pieces from it and those are going to become the legs of the table. I applied a little bit of wood glue onto each one and then added them onto the side of the table. And then I let the glue of the table dry and then I went on to make the chairs. So for the chairs I grabbed some coffee stirs and I cut off the edges to make a sharp point. And then I cut two smaller pieces from the coffee stir and that is going to be the base of the chair and then I glued them all together. So these two chairs are going to be for like the queen and king and then I'm going to make some smaller chairs. So I grabbed one of the coffee stirs and trimmed it down on the side to make it a little bit smaller than the two main chairs. I then connected all the pieces together using some wood glue and then let each of them dry. And now we have a full dining room set. To paint the wood, I just grabbed some brown acrylic paint and then to dilute it, I added a little bit of water to the paint and mixed it together. I then went on to paint all of the furniture and this creates a nice wood stain. I then let all of the paint dry and here is the final result. For the cups, I just used some small silver seed beads. And then for the queen and king's cups, I grabbed some jewelry making findings and then glued on the seed beads onto them to look like giant goblets. While the glue on the goblets dried, I grabbed these nail art decals and I'm going to use them as plates for some of the food for the table. All of the nail decals are iridescent, so I just grabbed some gray paint and painted them over so that they would have a more realistic look. Once the paint dried, I added just a small dab of glue inside of the plate and then I grabbed some more nail decals that I had in a set and then added them inside to make it look like there's food on the plates. For the main course, I just grabbed some air dry clay and then turned it into a round shape. And once the clay dried, I painted it with just some brown acrylic paint and it's gonna be the main dish. So it's kind of supposed to be like a turkey or some type of a meat. And now we can start adding all of the pieces to the table. I ended gluing everything down because it kept falling over and I did not want that to happen. So I just wanted everything to stay in place with just a little bit of glue. This last piece is just supposed to be a little salad bowl, which I just made with some greenery. 
I added some of these little nail decals and these are supposed to be like small little dessert cakes. All right, our dining room and food is all done. Let me know what you guys think of it. To make some wall decor, I just cut up some blue construction paper into thin strips and these are gonna be the banners on the wall. I then used some wood glue to glue down all of the pieces to the wall. Next, I grabbed some silver metallic paper that I had and then cut it into the shape of the shield and then that is going to be the main wall decor in the dining hall. And next up, I'm going to show you how to make the canopy bed. So for that, I just grabbed a popsicle stick and cut it into a much smaller piece. And then I'm going to use toothpicks as the poles of the canopy. Using an X-Acto knife, I cut the toothpick into four smaller pieces and each of the pieces have to be the same exact size so that the canopy can rest evenly on top. To keep the poles in place, I just added some wood glue and attached it onto the main part of the bed and let it dry. For the bedding, I just grabbed some red fabric and then trimmed it to the size of the bed. I also cut out small grooves into the fabric so that it'll go around the poles of the canopy. And to keep the bedding in place, I just added some glue underneath it. To make some pillows, I used the same exact fabric and then just added some glue and just kept folding it over and each time adding just a little bit more glue every time I fold it over. And then once I got it to the thickness that I want, I then just trimmed off the extra fabric. So I forgot to paint the poles of the bed before I glued them on. So I have to do that very carefully now so that I do not accidentally paint over the fabric. To make the canopy of the bed, I just grabbed some red construction paper and then glued on the same fabric on top of it. And then now I can glue it on top of the bed. Next up, I'm going to make the throne and I'm gonna use the same technique that I showed you guys earlier. And I'm just gonna use some toothpicks on the side just so it looks a little bit more decorative than the other chairs. Once the glue dried from the main sitting part of the chair, I added some side pieces which are going to become armrests of the throne. I used some gold acrylic paint to paint the entire throne. Once the paint dried, I added just a little bit of glue and added some fabric to make the throne just a little bit more comfortable. Next, I'll make the treasure chest because a castle is not complete without some jewels. So for that, I grabbed a coffee stir and then started cutting it into much smaller pieces. I glued all of the pieces together using some wood glue. It now looks like a chest. I also cut off a small piece the same size to be a lid. Using some brown acrylic paint, I painted the entire chest as well as the lid. I have these tiny little rhinestones. I think they're also nail art. So I'm gonna use those as the treasure inside the chest. So I just grabbed some glue and applied it to the inside of the chest. And then using these really thin craft tweezers, I added the jewels inside of the chest. I'll also put a link down below to the supplies that I use and whatever I can find. Some things I've had for a while and some things I did buy just for this project. 
I glued the lid on to the chest in an upright position so that you could see all of the jewels. And then I glued on some jewels to the rim so it looked like they are overflowing from the chest. And here is all of the furniture together that I made. Let me know down below in the comments which item is your favorite. Mine has to be the treasure chest because who doesn't love some jewels? And now my favorite part is putting in all of the furniture. I ended up not putting in any of the staircases where you can see the holes are. I just did not have any room for it. Maybe if I made some of the furniture even smaller then they would have fit in, but I decided to leave those out. Also, these really thin craft tweezers are perfect for working in such a small scale. They are such a lifesaver because my fingers cannot fit into these really small tight spaces. I think I'll glue everything down eventually just so that I don't accidentally knock over the castle and then everything comes tumbling down and none of the furniture gets damaged. Here's the final result with all the furniture inside of the castle. Don't forget to give this video a like. It really helps out my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next video.